Okay, so the PlayStation Vita. No longer in production, that's it. That's the uh, the final nail in the coffin for the Vita. Probably my favorite handheld system of all time. This little system was really powerful. It had so many great games for it, um, but Sony never really got behind this little powerful little system to, to support it. So, you know, at some, time, at some stage this year, I will be showing my Vita collection, but one of... But what I want to show now is some of the collector's editions that I got for the Vita. Um, I've got a few of them. I haven't really gotten anything lately because there's nothing to get really. Uh, not unless you check out something from Limited Run. And they're pretty much the only ones that are still making uh, PlayStation Vita games until I guess the cartridge run, cartridges run out or, or whatever happens. But so let's have a look at the uh, PlayStation Vita Collector's Edition that I've got. I'm going to start off with uh, Shantae, Half Hero Genie. Great game. You know, I, I didn't think this, this was going to get released on the, uh, the Vita. And the Collector's Edition, it just comes with a, uh, a bonus uh, CD with, uh, I think, about 30 music tracks. But it's a cool game. It's been released on pretty much every other system, including the... Uh, uh, Nintendo Switch, it is a great game, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I still can't believe that the Vita, you know, it's, 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 it's done, it's, it's, it's over, it's just, it's, so I got this, this uh, Vita from Japan, and it's, it's the OLED screen, and it's, and it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful, now something that I picked up here in Australia, um, the only way you could, well, the only way you could get this, um, physically was on the Vita, uh, Child of Light by Ubisoft. This was a great game. This came with some really cool items, a poster, uh, I think it's a, a lighted up, light up key ring, a beautiful art book, and some download content. Uh, this has, again, this, ga th this game has been released on the Nintendo Switch with, um, I think it's Valiant Hearts. That's a really brilliant game, uh, a double pack, so you should check that out and get it. But yeah, this was this was the only way you could get the um, a physical copy of this was on the Vita. I, I guess at that stage they were still trying to push that the system uh, to get it, you know, more sales. But it never really happened. And another great uh, collector's edition is uh, Corpse's Party. Corpse Party uh, Blood Drive. I actually haven't had a chance to play this. Again, this comes with a, a CD, music CD. And a really uh, cool art book and, and some of the art in that book is a little bit intense but it's really cool and I really enjoy it uh, yeah another collector's edition that you know exceed games they they did a lot of great things uh, for the Vita I know that now I've got two other items but I'll show you this one first um the years I got this from Amazon many years ago it did come a bit crushed I was really not happy about that but it comes with a cloth a cloth um, map uh, the compass is really cool as well uh, the CD and of course an, another art book which is brilliant um, uh, man I, I still can't get over the fact that the videos you know that's it it's done but you know a lot of people say there was no video there was was no games on the PlayStation Vita well I can assure you there was a lot of great games on the Vita Okay, so I'm going to go on to two unboxings. I have not taken these next two games out of the uh, the shrink wrap. Um, Legend of Heroes: Trials of Cold Steel. The second one is has been released. Um, Got to get that game. I, I, you know, if you're looking at getting Vita games, now is the time to do it because the prices are going to go high. I think um, trying to find a, a Vita. You know, that's that's hard as well the prices of going high because I, I know somebody that's after a Vita but he has to go you know you have to get a second hand copy of it um, so let's un unbox this this has been wrapped up for a couple of years at least since this game was released uh, so this is this is gonna be like the first time for me to actually see inside what, what what's in there but yeah there's so many amazing RPGs on the uh, PlayStation Vita so just like with the uh, PlayStation Portable, um, it was heaps of uh, great 
RPGs. Man, this is this is really cool. It's kind of depressing because I, it's the end of an era. Uh, so you know, I just kind of feel sorry for this system. It's, it's this thing has so much potential, and suddenly Sony just cast it aside like like it was their bastard child, basically. I mean, they've done stuff like that before with other peripherals. It's just ridiculous. But look at this. This is artwork is just unbelievable oh man that is so cool yeah xc games Fal Fal falcon this is unbelievable i've never taken this out of the box oh there's an embroidered there's a pin inside of here this is unreal i didn't that looks really cool <laughs> a big box for a little pin isn't that amazing that's that's really cool it's like a horse on there i can't get over this the size of this little pin inside of a big box typical american packaging i guess you could say i remember getting years ago getting the um the uh, monkeys uh cd that they're the greatest hits and it was imported from america and, it's, and it came in this gigantic box <laughs> And there's, there's just normal size CD in there. And of course we've got the game itself. So I'm going to have to start playing this one. And there's a reverse uh, art cover on it. I always like when they do a re reverse art covers on, on games. It's, that's really cool as well. So but I, I just can't get over the artwork on this one. This is so cool. Oh, I can't believe it's taken this long to unbox that one. And there's one more to unbox. What is this one? Blaze Blue. Uh, I don't know much about this. I guess it's a fighting game. I did pick this up from Oz Game Shop. Uh, I think for $19. So that was a real bargain getting that for that price. So um, let's, let's have a look inside and see what's in here. I guess there is an art book. I think all of these, you know, a lot of collected ed editions these days, it's pretty standard to come with an art book. Uh, I don't mind that. I, like, I love looking at art books. It's, you know, the concept art, art of, a, of a game and see how it's been developed and stuff. So that's just some cardboard there. Nothing about that. The game itself that looks really cool. Um, I don't know much about it. I, you know, I'm a newcomer to this series. Um, you know, this is perfect for new new newcomers. But I don't know much about it. But yeah, I've got to try it out. And another art book as well, which unbelievable art unbelievable art that looks so cool um has amazing uh it's, it looks like it's out of an anime movie just the way this art looks it's just fantastic it's yeah i'd love to be able to try and pick up you know a few more collector's editions uh for the the vita before it ends production of the game side of it um, we'll see what happens there, but uh, I, I, I still, uh, for me, you know, I got this back in 2013 when I was doing fly, fly in, fly out work. So, you know, you, you get helping a plane to go, you know, thousands of miles to, to work. And it was always a good little system to have to, to kill time on, on the flights. But so that's it. That's my collector's editions of PlayStation Vita games. Um, like I said, it was an incredible handheld system. It's just a shame Sony chose not to support it and stopped making first party title. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And soon I will be doing the complete PlayStation Vita collection. So uh, keep, you know, watch out for that one. Okay, thanks very much, guys. See you later.